Now, if you got a piercing and your piercer said you might need to downsize in the future, what does that mean? Now, let me break it down for you. When you get a piercing, if your piercing is only this thick and we put that thick of a barbell in there, that long of a barbell, your ear is going to swell or your piercing is going to swell. If you swell too much, the skin grows over the top and you're going to have to go to the hospital and have it cut out of your body. This sounds terrible, and us piercers don't want to do that to you. So we put an extra long bar in there or ring to accommodate room for the swelling. Now the thing is, is once the swelling's gone down and you're healed up enough, you really need to put a shorter bar in there. If you leave that longer bar in there, you could do, like for oral piercings, damage to your teeth or your gums. Um, and for cartilage piercings, they start moving and twisting because they're being twisted while you're sleeping on them. Once they start changing like that, they're at different angles and they're not fixable. Once that gem is pointing down, there's no way to re-angle it back up other than taking it out and re-piercing it. Now, when we initially do this piercing, like I said, we're giving room for swelling and some piercings like oral piercings, like lip piercings, tongue piercings, we're definitely putting longer bars in there. And I tell people generally a minimum of two weeks, maybe even up to a month before we put that shorter post in there. If you leave it in there, you will damage your teeth. You will damage your gums. So shorten up your post. Now, as far as cartilage goes, cartilage in your ear definitely takes a lot longer to heal up than an oral piercing. There's less blood flow to the area. So therefore, it's going to stay swollen much, much longer than an oral piercing. Now, once that swelling's gone down, and if it seems like that bar is really sticking out, shorten it up. A lot of times, I will tell a lot of my customers, around two, maybe three months is the average time you're going to want to downsize your post. Now, if you never swell and that bar is just way too long, definitely downsize it earlier, but have a piercer help you out. Not all piercings need to be downsized. Like for example, I don't generally oversize nipple piercings, navel piercings, or eyebrow piercings. Some piercers might, but the main ones you need to downsize are oral piercings, anything to do with the mouth, or cartilage piercings. And I will also say this, there are exceptions to the rule. I have seen cartilage piercings take six months, even eight or nine months before the swelling's gone down to where you can downsize. And like I said, sometimes there are very little swelling, if no swelling at all. I hope you learned something. I hope this helps. Um, make sure to hit the subscribe so you see all future content. Hit the like. And of course, keep putting holes in your body. We'll see you all in the next video.